Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you could stop in. Um, I've been gone for a couple days. Uh, the humidity got me down again and um, I ended up with one terrific headache and I ended up with a little bit of a chest cold. So I've been gone for a couple days. Um, and I had my papers ready and my subject because I got curious about who started Labor Day. And I was going to do this on Labor Day, but I'm late. <laughs> but I feel better, so I'm glad about that. But the Department of Labor workers in New York City celebrated the first Labor Day in the U.S. on September 5th, 1882. Wow. President Grover Cleveland signed the S-730 into law declaring Labor Day a national holiday. Bless his heart. In 1882, Peter J. McGuire, General Secretary of Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners and a co-founder of the American Federation of Labor, suggests setting aside a day as a general holiday for the laboring classes. That was cool. Um, and to honor them, which they should be honored, that is for sure. And uh, McGuire, on the other hand, also proposed the holiday in 1882 as an opposition story published in the Peterson Morning News called after it became recognized as federal level labeled him as the undisputed author of Labor Day as a holiday. Now Matthew, and he's got the same name, McGuire, Matthew McGuire, Peter J. McGuire, and they're no, they're not related. No, no brothers, no cousins, no nothing. Just got the same last name. That happens sometimes. Yes, it does. And um, the two men were present at the first Labor Day Parade in 1882, served as union leaders in their time. So still no one knows who really started Labor Day. Maybe we can split the difference. <laughs> and acknowledge that both union leaders played a major role in the birth of Labor Day. I hope you all had a fun day that day on picnics and going to parades and honoring the laborers because they sure deserve it. Uh, Tublo, Mississippi is a sad situation and probably still as of today, I would not doubt. Um, a pilot with no license flying the plane threatened to crash into Walmart. Can you picture that? Oh. Warned the airport officials to warn the public to evacuate. In other words, get out of the way. Oh my. But thank God afterwards he changed his mind. About crashing into Walmart, he finally landed in a field. He was on his cell with his family also during this episode. He says he didn't want to hurt anyone. He told his parents and sister it isn't their fault. Thank heavens that he landed safe. NASA's launch didn't make it. No, they were going to launch their uh, missile and it did not make it. Uh, it had a gas leak. Ooh, wow. Thank heavens it didn't take off on a launch pad. Ooh, it will uh, get to the text for repairs. China is again with warnings and Biden is telling him to leave Taiwan alone. Oh, Biden. But China has already shot a missile at him. So if Biden told China to lay off, where does that leave us when we have already heard China to tell us, leave things alone? My, oh my. Pelosi, I wonder if her visiting to China 
has reared to Taiwan versus China. Biden and Pelosi involved in this whole mess again. What are we left with? Oh my goodness, my goodness. Another sad note, at least nine, and could be more by now, because I haven't caught up on it yet, but are dead after trying to cross the flooding Rio Grande near Eagle Pass, Texas. They are trying so hard to get to our country. It just, there could be more deaths. Absolutely, I don't know. They will give their lives to get to our country. I have to wonder why. Don't you? Is their government not caring what happens to their people? Are they starving them? Not giving them homes to live in? Not giving food, getting food toward them, to them? Water supplies, clean water to drink for raising their children and themselves and staying healthy? You know, you, you just got to stop and wonder, why are they fleeing that country so bad and trying to get to us and any other country that will take them? You know, it it's, involves criminals and this and that and every other little thing, but they all can't be criminals. They've got to be innocent people, bringing their children to a better life. But why? What's wrong with their country? What's wrong with their government? You know, it's not rocket scientist to me, but you know me, I don't know. Yes, it seems to me that their government might need to be replaced. Sound familiar? Mm-hmm. Texas governor is sending more shipments of illegal migrants to New York City. Well, that's all right now that I've got wrote down. I'll try to catch up on some stuff and come back a little bit later. Um, our vice president did you read that? She's on vacation again. What has she done for us as president, vice president, let alone Biden, the president? Look what he's done. She's only did so much in the almost two years that they've been elected. And what Biden has done is just about ruined us. Oh, dear Lord Jesus, have mercy. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's about all I can say. And God bless everyone. Uh, subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll be back soon. God bless. Bye.